The University of Houston's Cullen College of Engineering is proud to introduce Dr. Bonnie Dunbar as the leader of our brand new Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Center, or STEM Center for short. Perhaps you know her as Bonnie Dunbar the astronaut, a veteran of five space missions during her 27-year-long career at NASA. She soared into space on the Challenger, the Columbia, the Atlantis, and the Endeavour. Or perhaps you know her as the engineer who helped to build the first space shuttle, Columbia, earning her the Rockwell Engineer of the Year Award. But then again, you may know her as the enthusiastic educator who served as president and CEO of the Museum of Flight in Seattle, where she devoted her energy to inspiring young people to learn the science behind flying. Dr. Dunbar has worn many hats during her career, but today she's on a different mission altogether. And this time, it isn't to space, it's to the classroom. Now the fact that my physics teacher mentioned engineering to me as, as the college I should enter when I became a freshman at the University of Washington was entirely accidental. And, and that was exactly the right place for me to be, I wanted to work in that field. I wanted to design, I wanted to fly, all of those things. Dr. Dunbar's new mission as the leader of the University of Houston STEM Center is to ensure more young people in the U.S. are entering into STEM careers not by accident, as she did, but by a determined and educated choice. My path was sort of serendipity, but we hope we can help young people make a more determined decision, like our website and what we're doing in the STEM Center, so it's not accidental that they can align their interests and that creating the modern world and the future world is really exciting. A workforce skilled in science and engineering is vital to maintaining the high quality of life we've grown so accustomed to in the U.S. A STEM articulate population is important for the way we live our lives, so you can think of it that way. You know, one of our challenges is that as a nation we're becoming scientifically illiterate. China is pumping out ten times as many engineers, India is four times as many. Unfortunately, the lack of a skilled, homegrown STEM workforce in the U.S. is not a new problem. Dr. Dunbar first noticed the shortage of trained engineers while helping to build the International Space Station in 1998. Many of our contractors were expressing concerns that they couldn't find enough engineers. And especially you know, working in a government program, U.S. citizen engineers. And that's precisely what brings Dr. Dunbar here, to the University of Houston. I had received a visit from uh, Dean Tedesco, and so I uh, accepted that opportunity to, to come back to um, the University of Houston to be part of the faculty and to help establish a STEM center. You know, we can't educate engineers if we don't have them applying to be engineers and if they don't have the skills to succeed. Beyond this, Dunbar hopes to change the stigma and correct many of the misunderstandings surrounding careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. You know, too often I would meet either a parent or a teacher who would say something that, that meant they didn't really understand what an engineer was. <laughs> my favorite phrase that I was told was, I don't advise my children to study engineering because they like to work with people. I don't know who we work with, but <laughs> in industry we are emphasizing, and I came from industry, you know, teams and working as, with people. That's who we solve the problems for. And Dr. Dunbar, herself a UH alum, believes there's no better city in which to establish a world-class STEM center. And we want to make sure that we have also a very inclusive pipeline, and we try to make sure we have as many different viewpoints and reflections as we can. And uh, the Houston area is really a microcosm of that. Uh, University of Houston is as well. It was just recently designated as a Hispanic-serving uh, institution. So it's really a, a, a great wealth of uh, that kind of inclusiveness to try to inspire into the STEM careers. While rising to the occasion of increasing our STEM workforce in the U.S. is no small task, Dr. Dunbar and the University of Houston are up to the challenge.